MP for Aruka Maloney, Camille Robinson Regis, has partnered with the Aruka Maloney Youth League for her 10 Thankful Tuesdays initiative. This Tuesday, the MP treated her elderly citizens to a pedicure and lunch. Elderly constituents will also receive haircuts and participate in conversations with the youth, which will continue until the end of the week. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more. 86-year-old Kaloon Musudin said he's been a supporter of his MP since 2015. Mr. Musudin has been a long-standing resident of the Aruka Maloney constituency. Since MP came in 2013 here, 15, right? They tell me the MP coming on road, I was on this same, or not on this week, yeah, the other one inside. And they tell me the MP coming, I say, well, tell she come. I don't have no dog. So when she come, I say, well, MP, listen, I don't know you, you don't know me. You don't have to campaign here. Yeah, you will win your seat before Mr. Rowley. Mr. Musudin married at the age of 25 and stayed with his wife for over 50 years until her death in 2017. I had a very good time with my wife. Though we didn't have children. We worked hard to buy land, to build a house and save we are rich here and sorry that she died. She died 2017. Every day I think about she. That's why I have she pity her day. Chairman of the Aruka Maloney Youth League, Estevan Oliveira, said since the elderly are sometimes overlooked in society, the league partnered with the constituency office to show appreciation to one of society's most vulnerable groups. Well, you know, the older members of society are really the backbone of which the community is built on. So I think that we really have to show them appreciation for all the dedication and contribution over the years. And as young people, if we could just do even a little bit to show some gratitude, I think we're really going a long way. As a senior member of society, Mr. Musudin had a few words for the young citizens. The best advice I can tell people, go to work and work and don't beg people for money and don't rob people. And have respect for the older people. But nowadays the young boys don't have respect for the older people. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.